Skylights. Okay, Skylights are within the Content Browser. You can find them under Actor Classes and their Skylight. Watch a shadow over here. Okay, so let me try to woggle my way over here. Okay, I'm going to add a Skylight to the room. Bam. Cuts the shadow in half. Now, for anybody that's you know, good with photography and everything else, as far as like the aestheticness of things, um, I would say that you know this is a really good light to mess around with, and it it complements the directional light quite well. Okay, now that thing ended up in my level, but it's small as all get up. So let's go in here and try to find actors. The one thing about this is once you plop it down, it is so small that you'll never find it ever again. And it's a it's a really big light. So no matter where it's at, it's always at its full power. Alright. What I'm gonna do is just kinda get it over to the area just above shed building thing so. ah there we go all right so here's the thing that you could do with this light first off since it's so small because the actual light bulb itself right here the picture is so small that's way why you lose it all the time so if you double click on it you can do this with any light by the way you can go to display and double cl click this area and type in like 25 all right. Now that just increases the actual icon so I can find it. That might seem a little bit big, so maybe 10. Yeah, 10 works. So any light source can have that happen. This way you never lose your lights. And believe me when I say this, you know, these are really small levels I've been working with, but really big levels, yeah, you lose it all the time. The other lights, you know, they may maybe increase by five or four or something like that but uh, this light's definitely smaller now what's it for well with this you can almost set the Kelvin of light you know in the morning like when you get up uh, the Kelvin of light is much different than in afternoon so everything looks if you take a photo in the morning it looks amazing because there's that Kelvin is so low, it supports some kind of dynamic lighting. Okay. With Kelvins, you can just kind of state the coolness of the air, the whether it's desert, but you have to do that via color. Okay. So if you go in here, let's say it was in the morning a little bit, I can add a little bit of blue to the actual sky. Okay, not much change, but in the shadow area, you'll find that the shadow is now more blue. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go to maybe a red. You can see now the shadow is more red. So this light complements shadows and the fact that you can change it for whatever type of day you want. Not really a big inside use light, more like an outside, you know, support shadow type of light. All right, so that's the skylight in a nutshell. There's not really too much about it else that you need to know other than, yeah, it's good for changing shadow color. All right, let's go on to the next video.